there's rice at home. I've got to that stage. You know when your parents used to say there's rice at home? I've got to that stage where there is rice at home. There's literally rice at home. Eat your rice. Leave the McDonald's. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really, really good 2024 and enjoying the vlogs. Um, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. I am going to be doing my makeup in this video and also getting ready, doing my hair. I also talk you through the way I've been feeling um, in terms of like now that I'm reaching 30, the way that I've been feeling um, coming up to my 30th birthday, which is going to be in April. Yeah. <laughs> We were scared at first. I'm not gonna lie. I was scared. I was nervous, but I'm really really good now Like I feel so content with everything that I've done in my 20s So I'm just gonna be talking about that to you guys also gonna be telling you guys five things that I am incorporating in my life basically my self-care routine my self-improvement routine um, So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to see how I got this look Make sure you keep on watching guys. I love you guys. So I'm going to be doing my hair first. I'm going to be installing a brand new wig today. Oh guys, I love when I have to install a new wig because it's like I'm unlocking a new level of babe, okay? So, oh my gosh guys, the wig I'm going to be trying today is from Remy Forte. Is it Forte or Fort? I'm not sure. Um, but this is the packaging. Yeah, this is it. Oh! I've just dropped the um, wig cap, hold on a sec. So it came with a wig cap and then the unit and that's it basically. I haven't opened this yet. So this is a full frontal wig and it's an, the natural color um, and it's a 26 inch wig. Let me show you guys. This is, oh, that feels really raw. Oh my gosh, the, the hair feels really, really raw. You know that really raw texture hair that people, you know, get in like tapings and stuff? This is how that feels. Oh my gosh, the quality is insane. <gasps> I wasn't expecting that. So guys, this is the inside of the lace. Oh my gosh, so seamless. Usually guys, you know you'll see the tracks of the wig. It's so seamless and it's a full wig, so it's a 360 wig. Last time I did a 360 wig was like 2016. This is crazy. Okay, I made myself coffee because I needed it, like the struggle. So I'm gonna start by obviously putting on the wig cap. I like to wear a wig cap, but not do the wig cap method when it comes to like laying down my wig. So what you're gonna get is me just putting the wig cap on like this and then I'm just gonna put some foundation on. I'm just using my skin tint by Bobbi Brown to colour the um, wig cap. Usually I only do the bit where parting is gonna be but this time I'm gonna do all around because obviously it's a 360 lace wig and I don't know how I'm gonna style it yet. I'm gonna do a side part today. <sighs> I have a love and hate relationship with a side part. You guys already know this. If you're new here, you will get you will get to know. I always say I'm gonna do a side part, and then when it comes to it, I never do. Like I'm just so used to like doing a middle parting. Like it's so ridiculous, honestly. But I really need to grow up. <laughs> I need to grow up, guys. I've just been feeling really like I might not scared. I wouldn't say I'm scared to enter a new decade. It's more like I'm um, excited, but also like. Oh, God, what's this decade gonna bring kind of thing. This is the lace, it is pre-plucked as you guys can see. Um, however, it has not been bleached, so I'm gonna have to color in the inside part of the lace as well, um, which is what I'm doing now. Do that very quickly, as you guys can see. Turning this new age has been so scary to me. Not scary, but it's more like I'm going into a new decade. Like, I remember when I turned 20 and I was just like, Oh my gosh, like my 20s, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna like do this, I'm gonna, you know, start my career and I'm gonna like, I'm gonna be a lawyer, I'm gonna go to law school, I'm gonna like, obviously when I was 20, I was still in uni and then obviously I had to go to law school after um, to do my LPC. So, so when I was turning 20, I like, I had all these like hopes and dreams and things I wanted to achieve. I was like, I'm gonna buy my first house, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be married by 30. Clearly that one didn't happen, um, but we move. <laughs> We move because I'm not gonna, that is something that is so out of my control. Like, am I going to propose to myself, you know? Um, so yeah, like I, I just had so many things that I wanted to do and 
thank God this is not by my my own doing, like me achieving all the things that I achieved in my 20s is not by my own doing at all. Okay, pause, I'm putting the wig on. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Let's get into sticking it down. I wanna make sure that it's literally where it should be in terms of like hairline. Yeah, so as I was saying, like turning 20 was like so exciting for me. I was like, oh my God. You know, I'm gonna do all these amazing things, which I did and I was so happy and like, I just like wanted to achieve so much in my 20s. But don't limit yourself. Even like 30s, you still have to try stuff. Like I still have things I wanna try in my 30s. Like I still wanna start a business. Like I have so many things I wanna do. So yeah, I say all that to say like, all the things that I achieved in my 20s, being a lawyer, buying my house and like doing a business with two other people, obviously that didn't work out. Like all of that was like really, really building me up into the person that I am today. So now it's making me look forward to my 30s. So even though I started off the year being a little bit nervous to turn 30, I'm not anymore. My 30s are just, you know, the years that I want to really perfect my craft as well, like social media. The last few years is just me trying. I feel like I didn't even start doing social media properly till like lockdown. That was when I was like, you know what, I'm going to start posting more videos. I'm going to start doing more this and that. And like that was four years ago. And the growth in the four years has been really, really good and beneficial for me. It can only go up from here. Okay guys, I forgot that I'm gonna have to cut the back as well. So I'm gonna have to cut the lace. I'm gonna have to cut it off my head. So I'm, what I'm doing is just, um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut it. It's a 360 one. One thing that I do love about this 360 wig, like there's no tracks. It lays flat out and I love that. The wig has got these clips to make it's um, obviously tighter and it's also got this elastic as well, which is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, it feels so flat. I am gonna proceed with sticking it on now. I'm using the got to be glued gluing spray. I was scared at first to turn 30, but like now I'm just so excited because I just feel like there's so many things that I'm gonna do in my 30s by the grace of God. The same way I had like plans for like my 20s, I have so many plans for my 30s. I'm using the Bondi Boost hair dryer. There was five things that I wanted to do in my 30 and I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm gonna start implementing these things before I turn 30. Like I'm gonna start the things that I want to do as a 30 year old, the way I envision myself as a 30 year old, those things I'm gonna start doing now. So I'm not gonna wait till I turn 30 and be like, oh yeah, now I'm gonna be consistent in the gym. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna eat healthier when I can. Oh, now I'm gonna, do you get what I mean? I'm just gonna finish styling the hair and then as I do my makeup, we'll talk about the five things that I've implemented um, in my day-to-day self-care, self-improvement routine. I could literally put my hair up if I wanted to, like, let me show you guys. Obviously, this is like quite messy. Um, that is so cute. You know what? I am gonna do a side part today. I feel like this quality, it deserves a side part. Next thing I'm gonna do is get some baby hairs going. The fact that I haven't even straightened this hair, look at the quality, so, so nice. Okay, let me try and do some baby hairs. I'm gonna clip the hair back so I don't get any gel on the parts that are not gonna be baby hairs. So one of the five things that I've implemented into my daily routine is like, is praying regularly every day. And um, I saw this video on TikTok where this girl was talking about how she does um, skin to skin with God. And I was like, skinny minion, skin to skin. Like, what's the meaning? She basically explained it by saying that skin to skin is basically when you, after you finish your prayer, it's basically like meditating, but like after you finish like praying, you kind of just like sit there and just ask God a question and you just clear your mind, clear your mind, don't overthink it, just clear your mind and think. Think about like how you're really feeling in your heart of heart about that question that you've just asked God. Like, how are you feeling about it? why did you ask that question you know like what is what is god telling you right now like and just kind of sit there and just listen to yourself i feel like a lot of the times we don't listen to ourselves like 
your inner self is so important to growth and a lot of the times that we actually don't listen to ourselves we feel like a lot of us like sometimes we just don't sit with ourselves enough and like when she said that and when she was like just like try it she was like just try it try it let me know how it goes kind of thing just try it and I thought to myself, do you know what? There's no harm in trying. You already pray anyway. You know, sometimes they say, oh yeah, women, we have this intuition. We always know before something happens. When I tell you, I always know before something happens for a fact. I've always been like that since I was young. It's something that you feel within yourself. I feel like even when I left my old job, I think I spoke about this as well in um, the video that I did. When I left my old job, like I knew within myself that something wasn't right. And every day when I was driving to work, every time like I would always feel it within my heart, like something isn't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Like I would always feel it, but like sometimes I would just ignore it. And I think that's where I've been going wrong. Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. If you know, you know. Ah, if you're a spiritual person, you know. You just, you just know. Like you feel it. I always, I feel like I always feel things before it happens. It's crazy. Like I just know when things are happening, when things are about to happen. And this is why I do not like change because as soon as I feel it, I'm just like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Before it even happens, I'm just there like, oh God. Shoton, shoton. It's happening. It's happening, Abby. Oh yeah, let's go there. But now I'm slowly learning to embrace change. And that is one of the things that I've been like really focusing on is the skin to skin and embracing change in my life. Like things are always going to be changing and that is the beauty of life like literally think like I, i'm not the same person i was when i was in uni i'm not the same person i was when i was like out of uni and i'm not gonna be, like i'm not gonna be the same person in my 30s so when change happens you gotta embrace it guys i'm just using my hot comb to just press the hair into place we are definitely doing a side part i feel like the parting isn't as straight as i want it to be um yeah so let me just press that down so i'm just going to be using my wax stick to press down um the flyaways because they were moving crazy i'm not gonna lie that has done really really well i think i might have put too much on and then going in with my hot comb again also the lace is so thin as well and the baby hairs literally just fell into place as I was doing it like there was no struggle what a cute little install I haven't even straightened it let's get the straighteners out <laughs> the hair's so so nice like so flowy I haven't put any heat in this like I haven't straightened it but I'm just gonna run it through the straighteners very quickly I'm using the t3 micro straighteners um, to just straighten the hair even though it doesn't really need it if I'm being honest um yeah i probably should have used um heat protection spray i forgot <laughs> don't forget to use your heat protection spray guys okay and then let's do this side what a stunning hair so so stunning show you guys the length i'm just standing up to show you guys the length it's quite long but i really really like it and it's not too thick it's not too thin the hair flows incredibly well and yeah i really love it i really really like this honestly i'm now gonna use this i got this from look fantastic it's really good for just like adding shine to your hair and if you don't want it to be greasy as well it's a nice little shine it doesn't make your hair greasy if that makes sense it just makes it like really nice and shiny everything about the hair is going to be in the description box anyway but stunning this guys my hair is done i love it it looks really really nice so guys let's get into phase two which is going to be my makeup so guys i've had to move myself around because i'm also filming a video on my phone so yeah and my mirror is here so if i'm looking this way it's because my mirror is right here um so yeah i'm really sorry guys but let's get into it. I'm gonna be doing my eyes first. I'm gonna try and do like a peachy look, you know? Peachy vibes, you know? Let's go for the peachy vibes today. I'm gonna do a peachy um, look today. Ooh, fingers crossed, I hope it goes well. <laughs> I literally just decided that right now. Um, okay, I'm gonna be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. I'm just applying that to my lid. 
buffing it out with um, this concealer brush by Fenty Beauty. So the next thing that I am going to be incorporating into my life is just my fitness. Like I really, I feel like I'm not even going to the gym for like snatched but big bum, you know, thick thighs kind of thing. Like. I'm now more focused on making sure that my health is on point, like, you know, I can run if I need to, like, I'm not huffing and puffing when I'm walking up and down the stairs, like, just little things like that, I'm gonna make sure that I'm good, you know, like, I'm good, I can, I can do things, so yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that the inside looks as good as the outside, baby, you know, we got the outside locked down, baby, like, <laughs> if I do say so myself, like I look good, okay? Also wanna make sure that the inside is just as good. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions, um, but this is what it looks like. I really, really love this palette. This is one of the palettes that I take on holiday with me whenever I'm going on holiday because it just does what it needs to do. Um, it's got all the colors. It's, ba it's basically got all the colors. They're all like black girl friendly, absolutely love it. I'm gonna be going in with this shade up here and I'm just gonna be pressing that on my lid. So this one, I'm just gonna be putting that up here. Oh, that looks really good already. I'm doing the same on the other side. I'm just pressing that into the concealer. Um, I always lay down concealer before I do eyeshadow. I just find that it helps bring out the shades better. And then I'm gonna be going in with this shade. This is like an orangey, like a burnt orange. And I'm just gonna put that under this, like this. That looks really bright on that camera, but it's really, really not that bright. Like, I promise you guys, it's not as bright as it looks. And using the same brush, I'm just gonna be going in with this shade. And just dragging that outwards as well also buffing it into that orange using a flat brush i'm just going to be going in with this shade right here it's just such a peachy oh that's nice i like that can we talk about the pigment of this eyeshadow palette oh the pigment is insane girl i love it it's so good and then what i'm gonna do now is using the same brush i'm just gonna tap peach that we used i'm just gonna tap that on top of it so that the peachness just doesn't go away if that makes sense oh yeah that's a nice shade that is a nice shade going in with the dark brown we're just gonna tighten up the um, corners and just bring the corners back in so we don't have harsh lines that is really really nice and just softly just bring in that brown over here as well now we are going to be doing um, eyeliner so the eyeliner that I've been loving right now is the makeup revolution eyeliner this is what it looks like I really really like this eyeliner it's so sharp as well like it's such a sharp liner I'm gonna do the other side, do my lashes and come back. So I've done my liner and my lashes. I've also gone in with that um, peachy shade on my waterline. So I used the MUA um, white eyeliner and then I put the eyeshadow on top of that. So nothing complicated. For my face, I'm gonna be going in with the Iconic London uh, Skin Serum. So this is what I'm gonna be starting off with. I really, really like the serum. It just feels so nice on the skin. Like, oh, it feels so really, really good. I just know makeup is going to sit, you know? It's going to sit. So I'm gonna be using the Iconic um, London Radiance Boosters. I'm using the shade um, Rich Glow and Deep Glow. And I'm just gonna mix both together. This is gonna give like a really, really nice glow to the skin, which I absolutely love. Okay, it looks red on camera, I think, but it's really, really glowy. This is why I like it. Just, if you want like a dewy look, this is the perfect like foundation for it. Like, it's really, really good. I might have put on a bit too much, but never mind. So the third thing that I'm incorporating into my like lifestyle now is eating properly. Like. All this kamaja breakfast, all this like eating anyhow, like not planning my meals, just having one day Chinese, one day KFC, or like eating out is just not gonna be it for me anymore. Like I just can't do it anymore. I literally feel it within myself that I don't feel good. So that's just something that I'm gonna be doing less of 
um, because I really don't need to, to be honest, because I do genuinely like enjoy cooking and like cooking for myself. But sometimes, obviously, you have those days where you can't be bothered or you need to do stuff, you're running around, you need to pack, you need to do X, Y, and Z. So sometimes I do get those days. Honestly, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. There's rice at home. I've got to that stage. You know when your parents used to say there's rice at home? I've got to that stage where there is rice at home. There's literally rice at home. Eat your rice. Leave the McDonald's. Go and get, go and, go and buy your vegetables. I'm also incorporating more vegetables. Eat your vegetables, eat your fruits. It will not kill you, I promise. If anything is doing you good. Eat your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts. It's disgusting to some of you. I know, even me, I don't like peas. But I'm gonna try and find ways to incorporate it into my meals, you know? Like, eat your greens. Eat your greens, babe. Eat your greens. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> eat your greens, okay? Right, quickly, let's move on to concealer. I'm concealer with these two concealers. This is the Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer by Estee Lauder. I'm just gonna be doing a quick concealing here. Oh, it feels so nice. Whilst we have the concealer, we're just gonna let it sit. Let it marinate, let it do its own thing. And then what we're gonna do is move on to the contour. La Mafia contour, okay. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place um, bronzer in the shade Espresso to contour. It's a very cool tone um, contour shade. Very cool tone contour shade, isn't too harsh, absolutely love it. Um, yeah, let's blend this out. Ooh, I'm trying this brush for the first time. This is the Hourglass um, Concealer Brush. It doesn't say what type it is, but I'm sure you guys have seen it all over socials. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this to blend out my concealer. Just blending that out. So guys, you guys know I can't really talk too much. I don't really like talking too much when I'm blending because I don't want any creases. So I'm literally just blending that out. I'm going back in with that contour shade just so that I can blend both out together seamlessly. She says she get it from her mama. Mm -mm -mm. I'm using the Red Beauty um, Peach liquid blush in joy i really like this blush i feel like at first i was so scared to use it and then like after i use it like near my under eyes and like blended it in it just really really worked for my skin tone and i really fell in love it's just so nice oh my god i love this i absolutely love this look already like we're not even done yet Guys, I'm setting with the Huda Beauty setting powder. I just used the YSL um, powder. This is the all hours setting powder to set um, my face. Um, I'm just kind of set in places where um, I put the Radiance Booster. My face is still quite glowy, which is what we wanted. So I'm going to be using this Revolution Ultra Blush in Golden Soul. And I'm going to be using this orangey peachy shade up here to just bring back that peach blush that we used earlier. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh, how stunning is that? It's just so nice. I'm going to finish off my blush and I'll probably just like do my lips. I haven't decided on what I'm using on my lips yet and um, I will be right back. So guys, I basically went off camera and I finished off my makeup look. The Radiance Glow Foundation really does leave you with an underglow that is so, so nice. I really love that foundation for when I'm going for a dewy look. Um, for the lip products that I used, you're just gonna have to go on my Instagram, baby. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok because the lip products that I used will be on my Instagram and on TikTok as well. So the one last thing that I'm incorporating into my wellness, my self-care, um, is that I am gonna be saying no. It's not every event you must go to. It's okay, it's okay to be at home. And the thing is, I love being in my house. I love being at home. 
but like you you just can't go to everything you can't do everything you can't split yourself and be everywhere because you will experience being burnt out like quicker than yeah and i'm also saying no to like collaborations that are not for me like it's not that deep it's okay just saying no to things it's okay it doesn't align with you or doesn't align with my brand it's okay we'll keep it moving so this is the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video this hair is so stunning the start of the show everything about this hair is going to be linked down below so make sure you check out the description box guys um thank you so much for watching hope you guys subscribe like comment share all that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys